Welcome to Global Perspectives. The first quarter of 2014 was anything but decisive, featuring a mix of good and bad news. When it was all said and done, bonds outperformed stocks, while flattish equity markets obscured the V-shaped recovery that had taken hold through the quarter, particularly in the emerging markets. The good news was broad-based. Washington failed to deliver its usual drama around the federal budget deficit and the debt ceiling. Berlin removed the largest potential hurdle to much-needed stimulus for the Eurozone. And Beijing continued to make slow but steady progress on market reforms. Bad news was similarly widespread. Harsh winter weather has produced mostly weak U.S. economic data of late, while the economies of China and Japan also appeared sluggish. Russia's market plummeted as Moscow feebly attempted to regain its world power status by invading Ukraine. However, fundamentals are intact and economies continue to expand, which are positive supports for the markets. In addition, during the first quarter, we saw notable strides in energy and frontier markets, two of our four global tectonic shifts that we expect to have a meaningful impact on the world's economy. Although 2013 was a good year for the markets overall, it was a narrow one, as five out of the ten major asset classes were negative for the year. Consistent with our expectations for a broadening global economy in 2014, the first quarter saw nine positive returns out of ten, with emerging markets, the lone negative, staging an enormous comeback after a disastrous January. While the U.S. remains one of the most attractive markets for investors, it is conceivable that the U.S. market may not win the race this year. As such, investors should position their portfolios accordingly to lower risk and boost performance. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.